Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be filming a spring fashion overhaul for you guys. We haven't done a fashion overhaul since the last season because we usually do one along with the seasons and we have a lot of cute pieces to show you guys today. We are going to be doing try on style but it won't be in our normal spot mm -hmm. with our rack because of course you guys know we're moving and we have boxes over there and those of you that don't know we're moving you might want to check out our social media accounts and our vlog channel. We bought a house so our apartment looks horrendous right now. It's a hot mess. <laughs> so yeah, we're just trying to pre-film and pack all at the same time. So yeah. So let's just jump right into the haul. Okay, so the first piece that I got is this really gorgeous burnt orange color. This is like my favorite eyeshadow color pretty much. But I really wanted to get like some transitional pieces. So some of this stuff looks like it's for summertime and some of it looks like it's still is for like fall. But I wanted to get like transitional pieces that I can wear in this confusing weather. Yeah. Because it was like 74 last week and it was like 30 degrees two days ago. So it's very confusing. <laughs> um, but this, I got this tube top bodysuit and I thought it was super cute to like layer with. Even like this denim jacket that I'm wearing. Oh, you can cute. also put like some denim bottoms with it because I love denim on denim. Yeah. So I think that would be really cute. But I'm just obsessed with this color. This kind of looks like a bathing suit. The yeah, material feels like a bathing suit also. It kind of feels like that slinky bandage material, almost like a silky feel. So it's not cotton. It's more of like a silky material. It's really good quality. So I really appreciate that about this because it's not super thin. Even though it is a tube top, you don't want to be, you know, have it see through. So love that. Okay, so my first piece is something that is a little bit different for me because I usually don't wear houndstooth unless it's on a blazer. But this is a houndstooth print jumpsuit and I thought it was super, super cute and very mod. So I cannot wait to wear this. I kind of already envision how I'm going to wear it with like a bright red lip. And I just thought it was really pretty and flattering on the model. So I'm super excited to wear this. It has a nice like stretchy material and breathable as well. So I also like that it has spaghetti straps as well. Because I'm not sure if I would have really liked this if it was strapless. Because I feel like a strapless jumpsuit is kind of hard to wear. Because you have to keep pulling it up. Because like it's one whole piece. I love, love, love the print. And I love how flattering the top is. This print does kind of remind me of my mom. I think I mentioned to you guys when I had a couple of blazers in this print that she used to wear things that were houndstooth. So it just makes me think of her as well. Okay, so the next top that I have here is this ruffly off the shoulder crop top. And I thought this looked like the perfect go-to spring top. It's very spring to me, even though it is black, but black goes with every season in my wardrobe. So I love the ruffled effect. So I think that's what makes it more spring. It yeah. has like the little mm -hmm. ruffle material. This is pretty much ruffled out. And I'm not a fan of ruffles for real. <laughs> but in this form, I like it. I don't know what you call this technique, but it's really like a 90s type top. Yeah. Like I feel like every 90s sitcom, somebody had something of this, you know, vibe going on. So I love this. And it looks really flattering on the arms. I like that the sleeve, well, these aren't really sleeves. But I like that this part of the arm is a little bit longer. So it makes your arm look slimmer. So I do like that and it just looks like a super cute top that you can wear with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts, you know. So love this top. Okay, so my next piece is also a jumpsuit, but this one is a little different. This one is, well, a lot different. This one is more 70s style. You can't see the bottom because I'm sitting. But it has a flared bottom, like the pants are flared. So it gives a nice 70s vibe and I thought it was so cute. And I just wanted to get something different just to step outside of my comfort zone. I also like that the top is a little zipper so you can like show a little cleave if you want to, you know. And it's stretchy. I was a little nervous at first when I saw that this was a denim jumpsuit because like denim you think, oh, I'm not going to be able to move around and it's going to be suffocating. But this is super stretchy. So if you have been looking at this on the site, I do want to tell you guys that it is stretchy. So you will have some breathing room in it. And it also comes with its own belt. I'm not sure I want to put my own with it. I actually like this. I normally don't like things that come with their own belts, like the fabric belts, but I like it with this. So I do feel like it's flattering with this whole jumpsuit. So I cannot wait to wear this. Not sure exactly how I want to style this yet, like as far as like makeup and my hair, but I just got it because like I said, I want to step outside of my comfort zone and I thought it was super, super cute. The only thing about this, I wish the zipper was like more gold. Like a brass. Like a brass or something. But other than that, I thought it was super, super cute. Okay, so the next top that I have here is the complete opposite of the one you just saw. This is a sweater. 
it's a color? crop sweater but it's a little bit longer than a typical like crop length it's a gorgeous like burnt orange mixed with like a brown camel color yeah i'm obsessed with this shade even though it looks like fall it's very fall i feel like yeah this has some autumn vibes going but i feel like you can make it look springy yeah kind of. you can and in a way with like some really light wash jeans yeah that's what i was gonna say light wash jeans yes so i'll probably be doing that but this is just a nice transitional sweater because it's still cold outside so i figured why not get another sweater it is on the thicker side but you don't need a jacket at all with this so it's really good for nighttime spring so if it still gets cold where you are in the spring at night then this is perfect for that so i just love this and it's ribbed so it has like a vertical ribbed style going down so i love that as well and the neckline is a little bit wider than your typical neckline so i'm assuming it might go off the shoulder i don't know we'll see when i try it on but it feels rounder like more wide maybe it's like an option to do yeah that. could be an option but this isn't a size small so it's not like oversized so we'll see when i try it on okay so my next piece is also a denim piece but this is a romper not a jumpsuit because it's shorts and i thought this was so so cute honestly when i saw this on the model online it just gave me backyard barbecue vibes yeah so to me this is more of a like summer piece and less of a spring piece but i went ahead and got it because when summertime comes i don't think this is going to be on the site anymore so i just went ahead and got it but i'll probably be wearing this when it's summertime because it is on the thinner side so it's not for spring to me i feel like it's more for summer but i thought it was super super cute and i had to have it the only thing that makes this spring to me is the flowers but i could just see myself wearing this at like one of my family members house at a barbecue and like i could just see me eating some baked beans in this with some barbecue <laughs> macaroni and cheese yeah it's so vintage it's very vintage i feel like i saw a picture of my grandma wearing something like yeah. this in one of her old photo albums so i like that like old trends are starting to come back I'm going to raid my grandma's closet eventually. Yes, I told her I was going to do that. Because she had like such great style, like mm -hmm. bomb style. So this kind of reminds me of her. I do think I'm going to get my own belt to cinch this way because it is um, gathered on the waist. You can like leave it plain like this. I think it would be cute. But just to add your own little touch to it, I think it would be really cute to add a belt to it. So I think I might add maybe my cognac belt to it. I think that would be really cute with some sandals or something. So I think that's how I'm going to style this. Okay, so the next top that I got, I mostly got tops and I got one pair of jeans. So... I just love tops that makes me excited for like the new season to come so this top is a another off the shoulder top it's like that what you call it bordeaux 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 style mm -hmm. but it's very stretchy and it's like a chiffon silky material and i love the color that's mostly why i decided to get this shirt because it has like a rust and baby blue striped print going and i love those colors together that also kind of reminds me of like the vintage shades they used to wear back in the day mm -hmm. like the rust i love what rust looks like next to white yeah. and it obviously looks pretty next to blue so i don't really have a lot of blue in my closet either but this is like a softer kind of blue so i do like the soft effect and it does have a drawstring at the top so this is super super cute with the wider arm so the sleeves look super cute and i think this is going to be really flattering on and it's very stretchy so they're very flowy sleeves yeah really flowy this Soft. is kind of 70s vibes as well because i feel like it was all about the sleeves in the 70s yeah and all about like the wide legs everything was flared yeah flared and gathered at the same time because <laughs> these sleeves are gathered as well at yeah. the um at the ends mm -hmm. so i really love this top so the next couple of pieces that I got are actually a set. So you wear them together, of course. And it's basically like an athleisure type set. And it's cotton material and it's basically black, white, blue, and red. And I just thought this was super cute. I could see me wearing this with maybe like my red NMDs or something. A day running errands because I do that a lot. So I just thought this would be really cute to like wear on a day where I'm running errands. And I want it to look like a, you know, normal human being and not crazy like I'd be looking sometimes. So I just thought this would be really cute for that. It also has zipper detailing on the sleeves and like the side of the shorts, which I thought was super cute. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a nice touch. So it's not like just like plain stripes. They just added the zipper in the middle. So I thought that was super cute. I like that the top is not cut. Like it doesn't look like it's cut off. It's actually stitched at the uh, bottom of the crop top. So I thought that was really cute as well. And the shorts also, they're a drawstring. So you can like tighten them as much as you want. Like cinch your waist in. So I thought that was cute as well. Thank you, Kendra. She's my helper with this. <laughs> so I thought that was cute as well. So this just looks super, super comfortable. And I just cannot wait till it actually gets warm enough for me to wear it. So I also got another crop top. This is a spaghetti strap burgundy cranberry shade. It has a drawstring tie in the front, which I love. And it's just a simple, breathable cotton. This is very 
summer i'm not gonna lie but yeah like i said about the other top you could layer this so this is a good layering piece for spring so you can put this on and do like a denim jacket or a cardigan of some sort so i think that would look cute i love stuff like this just throw on and you can mix and match it with other things because for spring it's all about still layering but staying cool instead of warm if that makes sense yeah because in the fall i like to layer but in the spring it's all about layering as well it's just about having something that looks more summer underneath yeah so i think this is cute for that okay so next i have a crop top as well but this one is just like a plain simple black crop top and i thought this was super cute it almost looks like like from far away it looks like a sports bra but it's not it's actually like a cotton ribbed material and i thought it was super cute it scoops in the front as well as the back it's just super simple you can wear this with shorts like even like i can mix and match with the shorts i just showed you with that set or i can do high-waisted jeans leggings thick leggings not like thin leggings of course but this is just a super versatile like staple piece i think everyone should have in their wardrobe especially transitioning into summer as well so i feel like i probably wear this when it gets warmer so i just thought this was really really cute to have okay so the last and final top that i have is this crochet sweater crop top and Kelsey said it looks like it could have been handmade. Like the mm -hmm. pattern that it's sewn into looks very, very detailed. And it, this is a really like thick top. So it's definitely very spring. But I love the peachy salmon -y color. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of pink. But when I do wear pink, I like the salmon kind of look. It has like more peach tones in it. Yeah. So I love that kind of pink. I feel like it's really flattering on my skin tone. So I think this is a really, really cute. It has like a thick wider like strap so this is what it looks like from the back it's a very good quality top but i love just like details when it comes to tops like this so this is really cute and you can wear a regular bra with it because that's the only thing that annoys me about like some spring and summer tops you think what kind of bra am i gonna wear with yeah. that this you can wear mm -hmm. a regular bra with it and like not have your bra showing so i really like that okay guys so my next top is a crop top y'all know the line gets kind of crazy when i hold up like light stuff um, but it just says girl power with a nice little fist in the middle. I thought this was super cute. It's in the thank you font. Like if you go to some stores, the bags that say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Chinese store. Yeah, or the Ching Chang beauty supply store. Yeah. So I really, really like the font a lot. I think I saw Tiana Taylor wearing this actually. And I was like, oh, I want that too. So I just picked it out. Mainly just because I saw her wearing it because I'm like obsessed with her. Yeah, me too. So <laughs> yeah, I thought it was super, super cute. Probably just going to wear this with some high-waisted jeans. Probably black. It'll, it's white, so it'll go with any color jean, pretty much. So I just thought this was a cute, you know, crop top to have. Or it would be cute with high-waisted, like, red sweatpants. You would wear that? I would definitely wear that. Mm -hmm. I might do that. I don't have no red sweatpants, though. But I might get some just to wear with that top. Okay, my very last item are a pair of boyfriend jeans. And I really wanted to try their high-rise relaxed skinny. That's what this says. I'm just reading this. Um, but they are considered boyfriend jeans on the side, so they're underneath the jeans, and then you go to boyfriend jeans. And they have so many different kinds. I didn't even realize Fashion Nova had, like, a variety of boyfriend style jeans, because I know they're very trendy, and I'm not typically a trendy kind of girl. I just wear what I like. I'm more simple. I wear what, like, never goes out of style, or stuff that's just really minimal. I don't really typically wear what everybody's wearing when it comes to, like, trendy pieces. But I just got these because they look comfortable. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they look like one of those slouchy kind of jeans. Almost like a mom kind of jean. But they look stylish at the same time. Not that moms aren't stylish. But you know what I mean? They're not frumpy looking. So they still look relaxed but still stylish at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. So I really like the wash of them and I like where the rips are. I cannot get enough of any kind of ripped jean. Yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to stop buying ripped jeans. They just look super cute. But they do have a, a fair amount of holes in them. But I think they're in like the right spot. They're nicely placed. Mm -hmm. And I do like this wash. So curious to see what these are going to fit like. I got a size 3 so that they won't fit too tight because I want them to fit like I said more slouchy. So we shall we shall see and then the last top i got is just another t-shirt but this one is just black and in white words it says hustle on it you guys know we're all about that hustle life youtube is a hustle if you're on youtube you it's know definitely a hustle like any job that's a hustle i commend you because hustling ain't easy so yeah i just thought this t-shirt was very appropriate for me to get so love that also it's a really nice stretchy material as well it's not just like a plain thin t-shirt this t-shirt is actually better quality than the girl power one so it's actually really good quality and then the last thing that i got are a pair of shoes and i really don't get shoes 
from Fashion Nova, but I saw these and I felt like I really needed them in my collection because I've been eyeing these for a while. Not on Fashion Nova's site, but like any kind of shoe like this, I've been looking for just a plain black, thick heeled, one strap pump. And I just had to have them. They're in a suede material, which is really nice. And they have a nice like fat buckle on the side, which I thought was very mod. So they do have kind of like a mod vibe, which I really like as well. And for heels, they are comfortable. I mean, as comfortable as heels can get. But if you wear heels often, then they will be comfortable to you. So got these and I really, really like them a lot. Kind of already know what I want to wear them with. Of course, that's why I got them. But yeah, I just felt like I needed to add them to my collection because most of the shoes that I've been wearing like this lately are my clear ones. Mm -hmm. And I wear the crap out of those. I have the one with the one strap and then I also have one with three straps. But I just really needed a black pair similar to that. So yeah, I got these. Okay, so that completes our spring Fashion Nova haul. You guys let us know if you're going to be getting any new pieces for the spring from Fashion Nova. And let us know if you own any of these pieces that we mentioned. So, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this try-on haul. This, technically, for Kelsey and I, is our last video that we're pre-filming before we're in our new house. So this is very exciting, but also overwhelming at the same time. Because as soon as we turn this camera off, we're going to start backpacking because yeah, we got a lot to do. But you guys are going to see videos after this, like two more videos after this in this apartment that we pre-filmed before this video. Uh -huh. So yeah, just yeah, letting y'all know that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video.